Welcome back to the Chris Cross Corner Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Canty. We have the great debaters here today. We have Christopher Bird, Marcel Smith, and Chuck. What it do? If this is your first time listening, this is a weekly water cooler conversation where we talk about sports, politics, movies, music, TV shows, etc. Before we begin, please go to the www dot crisscrosscorner.com for your black excellence shirt for the election this year we got to vote for our black queen kamala harris all right she's trying to get into the white house you have to get out and vote all right mm-hmm. and you can show up to the polls with your black excellence shirts mm-hmm. or your hoodies because it's going to be cold that day so yeah please show up show up and show out for election day all right we're gonna go to our first segment of the day. We have what up, Doe Detroit. I ain't got nothing for what up, Doe Detroit, but I do want to talk about them tigers. <laughs> How in the hell did Man. we manage this? They be my favorite team. <laughs> I want my baby, my baby, my baby, my baby. Give me my baby, my baby. My... This is the first time all four Detroit teams will be playing in October in ten years. That's crazy, man. I can't believe it. I, I forgot believe how it? I forgot how great it felt. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna learn today. We're gonna that was our tomorrow. that was our freshman year in, in college, guys. It's crazy, man. Well, four, three of us. Anything's possible. That was our freshman year. I feel old. Well, for some of y'all, I feel old as hell. I know, right? Ten years ago. I don't even know. I don't even know who's on the Tigers now. Who's on the Tigers? It's a bunch of young cats. Yeah. Is Bias still on the team? Well, how Javier Bias? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. He's yeah. He's yeah. gonna he's gonna be with he's gonna be with the for a good minute. They make they paying his ass too much money. Way too much. Way way too much. It was a breath of fresh air when he went when he was off the lineup. And I mean that. Yeah, Mason Ingle, Inglert, Jason Foley, Tyler Holton. Hey, real talk. I'm not gonna lie. Like, they wrote the Tigers off for playoffs in July. They had a point. It was a point two percent chance. of making the playoffs prior to August, and then it was in the All Star break. They just caught fire. I think they won like thirty two. They they caught fire and then all of a sudden they, they made them it. Won this all they is a true case. After the all uh, back work. then they didn't want me. Now I'm hot. They all on me. That's exactly what this is in real time. Mm. Mm. Casey Mize, Jake Rogers, Spencer Torkelson, Colt Keith. Oh damn! Two mm-hmm. first names. Mm-hmm. Riley Green. I don't know. Congratulations to the Tigers, man. Congrats. Think we're either Good gonna time. face they say that we, if we win today, we would be going against, I believe, Houston. We yeah, we go up against Houston. If we don't win today, we go against I'm pretty sure we do. Kansas City, they said. I don't know. Dev Texas <clears throat> Dev Texas and whooping ass in Kansas City. Is it wild card a one game? Is it I, like I, I a did one know. game? I, 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 find out. I got we got to ask the resident baseball analyst, um, but he's not here today. So um, I don't know. <laughs> One, two, three. Yes, yeah, three games. It's three games. OK. Well, I say I know is I know it's shorter than like a regular series. It should be like the WNBA for all series, <laughs> just best of three. <laughs> and you have to, you got to bring your A game every game. But they said that the the Lions inspired them to do this move, so they did. The Tigers, now the Pistons are next. Yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all that. Nah, I have nah. no faith in that whatsoever. Hey, 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 no hey, faith. Hey, I, I'm keeping None. the faith. I'm keeping None. the faith. Man. Nah, man. I'm still rock, I'm still rocking with him. We got Tim Hardaway Jr. now. We got yep. K Cunningham. We yep. have a healthy K Cunningham. Yep. 
You got rid of the poison, the Troy Weaver. We got rid of him. We got rid of everybody. I, I had to. It would be nice that the WNBA, um, what, excuse me, it would be nice that the NBA didn't let us have like the fifth overall pick for once. In three years in a row. Three years straight. How does that happen? It's rigged. It's rigged. It's rigged. It's That's how. Rigged. It's rigged. I'm pretty sure when the ball drops, they look at it, says the exact number, and they just say minus two. <laughs> and might as well. <laughs> they look at it and be like, ah, it's Detroit number one. Ah. <laughs> you remember Red Fox and uh, – Harlem Knights, where you got to wear them glasses, mm-hmm. right at the beginning of the movie. That's exactly who I think draw gets the balls out. Mm-hmm. For real, they'd be like mm, number five. So that's the only number he remembers. Mm. <laughs> He's like five, five. Speaking of uh, numbers that we remember, uh, New York Mayor. Adams, dumbass, dumbass, criminal charge, dumbass. Wait, 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 wait. Say it with me, y'all. I'm locked up. They won't let me out. Yeah. They won't let me out. No. Trying to find him. I'm steady trying to find a motive. Why do I do? Motive. <laughs> and guess who spoke on the issue? I wonder who. Detroit, ex-Detroit mayor, Kwame <laughs> Kill Patrick. You can't make this shit up. My nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. this shit up. I'm pretty sure they were all in the group chat way before this news even broke. Way. I mean, why not him? <laughs> I'm just saying, like, nigga, you got a second chance at life. Shut up. <laughs> and, and, you're and, and, you're old, and you're old, uh, an ordained minister. Come on, man. Stick mm. to the script. Maybe Stick, trying to give man. the gift of God. Stick to the script, then man. Again, you're seeing a lot more preachers being involved in theft, embezzlement, and all. Everything, man. Hey. There's no hey. sac- nothing sacred no more. Hey, Crawford O'Dollar needed that jet. So. I need me to fly. <laughs> I need to fly away. <laughs> that, that, that right there, that, that should have let you know that there's a the problem. You never trust a person with the last name Dollar. You just don't mm-hmm. do it. That's that's the science right there. Don't do it. Um, Amtrak is creating a new route from Detroit to Florida. Also, they're making a, a, a route from Chicago to Florida as well. Why would anybody go to Florida? I mean, it's cheaper than taking the plane. Oh. It's a little bit more longer than taking a car. So they they making it from that central station from downtown. Mm-hmm. Union Station. Okay. Okay. I don't know if it's from uh, Michigan Central. I think it's from the you know the one on on uh, Milwaukee. Oh, it's straight okay. down. Yeah, I know Milwaukee and what Milwaukee yeah. Whitworth. Yeah. yeah. So. Why do I do the whole? Thing? Well, don't that one got a pass through there? Yeah. Uh, it, w- it would have to pass through. But I don't know if they're actually doing it for Michigan Central. If they are, then that'll be a huge plus for the city of Detroit. I mean, it, it only makes sense to do it from there. True. Especially for, for what, it's gonna, what it is or what it's going to be or whatever. It will only make sense for them to build it from there on down <laughs> yeah it, it'll be great speaking of great chuck just posted this in the on his story men require at least two guys nights a week to stay healthy i'm down for that i'm down to, wait to find guys nights <clears throat> guys nights where you hang out like you just go hang out with your with your homeboy my, my, my so this right here you're making the harder where it needs to be just keep it simple. You're trying we're to get simple. a basil. We're, we're simple guys. All right, we're, simple. We're simple. All, all, all. Reel it back. Reel it back. Okay. Yep. Yep. It, it could be. It could be a TV. It could be some drinks and some snacks. We good. It could be smoking. I've been waiting to smoke with y'all for the longest. Oh, we need legend. Legend. Say, say, say less. I'm not down with that hookah shit, though. All right. Mm. That, that'd be all you. 
Who who said who's I, I smoked that other shit? No, what the fuck? All right, all right. I said, I got closet, so I, just, I only smoke papers. I'm an old man, bro. I only smoke all right, papers. All right, all right, all right, all right. Got you. I got you. Mental note. So the Tigers have ended the longest playoff drought in MLB history, tied with the Los Angeles Angels. Ain't no way. It's been 10 seasons. It's crazy. I found out another That's the longest drought. That's crazy. Longest That's playoff crazy. drought, yeah. That's that's crazy. That's the longest drought, but it's real short. Yeah, that's why. That's why I said that's crazy. Like ten years is not really that long. In, in sports, no. Like, if you look at other, if you look at other franchises and other different leagues, it'd be like twenty, fifteen, a hundred. Chicago Cubs. Oh yeah, we're, we're going to talk about that in a second. Well, we're going to talk about the drop, longest um, World Series wins, just playoffs. Yeah, that's just, playoffs. That, that, that's just yeah. the worst. Playoffs. Well, so oh, for the God. NBA, so the play for, for the NBA, it's been eight seasons, and that's held by the Charlotte Hornets. Yeah, since 2016. I thought they made the playoffs. I thought they made. Nope. Since Kimber Walker, the last since Kimber Walker. Kimber Walker. Oh, that's why. Since Kimber. Since Kimber. Yeah, that's why. Kimber. Um, in the NHL, it's been 13 years. The last one to do that was it's definitely a longest, Canadian team. Nope, the longest drought is the Buffalo Sabres. How long? 13 years. God, I mean, that, that's not bad, but oh, see, it's, that, it's, it's embarrassing. That makes, see, that's that just seemed higher than it just when you yeah. think of it like 10 is just a short, it's short, it's short. Yeah. yeah, but in, in retrospect, the Bills, I mean, no, the oh. Bills and the Sabres are owned by the same person. <laughs> what no. happened? They totally missed that field goal. No. What happened? My man's hit it from like 20 yards out, and the boy was like, if they're in Chicago, oh. so it's super windy. It was like, <laughs> hey, Ooh. who are we, who we laughing at, man? Chicago can't have nothing nice. I mean, oh, it's just the Ram kicker. It's the Ram. What? Yeah, it's the Ram. Ram. So if you if you got him on fantasy, then yeah. Okay. So speaking of what? football, speaking of football, the longest drought in football is also 13 years, and it's held by the New York Jets. Yay! We've hey, we broke our records. We broke. We we broke. We, what, we wait, 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 wait. We've been broken, we, Marcel. We've been lines been in the playoffs we, the last we, year. We exercised a lot of demons last season, all right? Not a lot, but and, not then, all. and then before that, the last time we went to the playoffs was 2016. 16. Playoffs was 16. I'm talking about playoff. I was 2014. No, 2016. We went against Seattle in 16. 2014 was yeah, Dallas. Yeah, yeah. That, that's yeah, Seattle. That, that, that's Seattle. Yeah, that's you, Seattle. You, that's Seattle. You, you good? Yeah, that's that Seattle game was bullshit. Hey, if it made the Dallas game was bullshit. Hey, oh, it, even, oh man. Hey, hey, Marcel. Hey, if it made you feel better, the Miami Dolphins have not won a playoff game this entire millennium. You had to go back to two thousand. Yep, the Dolphins did not win a playoff game in twenty five years. <laughs> I'm not even gonna, look it up. Look it up right now if you think I'm BSing. I can't believe I'm saying this, but thank God I'm a Lions fan. Woo wee. But then again, 25 years is not that what am I saying? It feels long. It doesn't feel long, that's, but it's a long time. That's a long longer. that's most of my life. We're talking about 16 years. I mean, we talking about 16 weeks repeatedly every single year. Hey man. Yeah. That's yeah, what you're gonna do. Yeah, their last their last playoff win um, with the Dolphins in the, in the playoffs was December 30th of 2000. Now the last time they won a playoff game. Who was it against? It was against the Chiefs. Wait, no, it was against the Colts. Excuse me. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yep. And speaking of the AFC West, uh, Pistons owner Tom Gores has bought 27% of the Los Angeles Chargers for $1.5 billion. Hey, that, if that man wants to, if that man wants to stay in Los Angeles, let him sell the sell the Pistons. No, he's he's been there. he's been living in Los Angeles. He lives in Beverly oh, yeah. Hills. Tom Gores is a California native. Just, just stay there. Just stay there. Leave the sell the Pistons to someone who cares. He does care. He comes to every 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 fifteenth game. He's there. Uh-huh. 
Every 15th game. <laughs> Every 15th game, he's sitting center court at the 15th, <sighs> throwing balls at people during the ball shooter, you know, when they throw, shoot the balls at the fans. Yeah, that sounds like community service to me. <laughs> Literally. No lie, that sounds like that's community service. Mm-mm-mm. So, budget airline Viva Columbia is considering plans to remove all seats from its planes and make passengers stand up. Oh, y'all tripping. <laughs> oh, you tripping. Uh, that turbulence is going to be killer. Mm-hmm. How they, how they do that? Hey, they can take all the seats and make people stand up. Now, hold on. Need, like on Soul Plane. I need, I need, I need to see, see this uh, concept. <laughs> Mm-mm-mm. Uh how 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 you gonna is it like the raptor where you gotta hold on to the bars and like, like this? Wait, mm-hmm. wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. All right, Saquon, I need, yo, I didn't think the Eagles were getting dog walked that bad. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they they still, they, 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 honestly, they Jeez. might still they still might win the East. I love it. I love it. They still might they win deserve this. That, 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 that. And speaking of uh, speaking of planes, Tuskegee University now has a fully accredited I aviation I, I program. So now they really teaching people how to fly out there. Now they're really teaching people how to fly. It's the only mm-hmm. HBCU in Alabama with that program. That's sad. I mean, how many HBCUs are in Alabama? Well, listen, you guys like three. You got Tuskegee, like three, you guys, four. It's a ton of them. You got Alabama, Alabama, A&M, and A&M, and Alabama A&M. A&M, and you got um, damn, what's the third one? I should know this. What are the Jackson, three? Jacksonville State, HBCU, HBCU. Well, Alabama. No, 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 it, it, no, no, it's not HBCU. Let me see. I'm, I'm gonna look it up on chat. GBT. I'm looking it up right now. It's Tuskegee. It's what are the three HBCUs in Alabama? Okay, it's Alabama State. Oh, Alabama. Okay, Talibre- Miles Miles College, Oakwood University. I and heard of them. A and M and uh, Tuskegee. So there's five. Yep. Tuskegee just, is number five. Tuskegee is uh, number five in the on according to College Raptor. Yeah. So then, Miles uh, Miles College is in Fairfield, Alabama. Winston Salem, Alcorn, Delaware, Hampton. I didn't know that <laughs> Delaware State was a HBCU. I didn't even know Del- I didn't even know Delaware where even had a college and shit. I I forgot Delaware was a state. But shit. It was it's, it was the first state of the union to be exact. How we just forget about you? Most people don't know about Delaware, man. Delaware is they just don't. out there. Yeah, they, they right. just they just chilling. Literally, what chilling. does Delaware have? Um, free corporate tax, <laughs> no corporate tax. That's it. That's why you see all like the insurance companies and all the big businesses, like their financial headquarters are in Delaware for some re- like. Sounds like uh, Epstein Island. Sounds smart. Sounds like they're evading taxes. That's it. Mm-hmm. Taxes. They're just trying to avoid the tax state. If, if Trump was smart, he'd move his business to Delaware. No, we not. <sighs> he'd be like, you can't get me. You can't get me. I hope he drink flood water from Florida. God damn. God damn. Don't say that myself. <sighs> okay, so the judge that was the Detroit judge who put teen in handcuffs during a field trip was now demoted to dealing with speeding tickets and minor violations. Oh my god. <laughs> Dang. Hey, he keeps his job though. <laughs> and hey, at least he does that. They're trying to punish him. He can't handle big cases or whatever. <laughs> He said, "You want to, you want to play today?" Cases. What, what is, what is? Hell no, you just. <laughs> he said the tree was in his backyard. <laughs> That's kind of cases. 
<laughs> you gotta cut the tree in half. And you get this half, and he gets that half. <clears throat> oh man! All right, Chris, what's up? If we get the Billy Joel concert tickets, are we going to this concert? Uh, I mean, the Billy Joel and I mean, Stevie Nicks concert. I know it's gonna be the biggest concert he's ever done in Detroit. It's gonna be a wildish concert. Nah, uh, so you know, like you like Billy Joel. Stop it. Right, right. Two Billy songs. Billy that's it. Mm, all right, two right, songs. Right. right. He gonna say piano man, and we didn't start the fire. Man, look at that sack, man. Look at that sack. Now I'm gonna say I go to the streams. My son's watching football for everybody who's. Doesn't understand what he just right. talked my, about. My, my, Marcel, Marcel's stressing on the parlay over there. Uh, Marcel's like, yeah, that's a nice sack. He's look at that sack. Oh, okay, look. It's Sunday. <laughs> it's one o'clock. We got parlays all over the place. We're watching football, everybody. We're doing this on Sunday. It, Marcel's yeah, talking about a football sack. Mm -hmm. Hey, not that someone's was a, that sack. Was probably one of the easiest sacks I've ever seen. Hey, 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 whoa, 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 Marcel. Hey, time out. Time out. Time we out. We just clarified. Time. Time. That's a out. nice looking sack right there. Time oh, out. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, time shit. out. Red, wait, time out. Wait, can I throw a flag oh, on this? Oh, damn. Where's my flag at? Hey, yo. Hey, oh, my. Hey. Come on, y'all. He just came out of blue. Oh, yeah. Told my, That's a nice looking sack right told there. My co I told my co workers about this podcast. It's going to be so bad. <laughs> We're doing this on Sunday afternoon, everybody. Um, <laughs> actress Maggie Smith has passed away at 89, everybody. Man, we, I thought she was older crazy. than that. Me too. Oh, I was like, she's not. She's not like she 109. At, I thought she was at like, <laughs> she, she's one of them actors that's been old my whole life. <laughs> she was old back in Sister Act too. That's what I'm saying. Like she's been one of them actors that actress that's been old my whole life. Like Morgan Freeman, he's been old my whole life. Like Morgan Freeman, maybe life. the next to go. Hey, don't, hey, don't do that. Hey, hey, don't say that. Don't, don't say, say that. that. God damn it. Don't you say that. Hey, hey, hey. We still real from James Marcel, Earl Jones. We live, bro. Did you not just see what the fuck you just? Oh my god! I, I, I can't. I can't. Oh, he's right right. said Morgan Freeman might be next. No, I, I, I can't. I'm I talking can't about what he just did. Oh yeah, I, I seen. I seen it. I seen it. I was no, trying not to talk about it. Extensive PR training. Oops. No, it's called Zoom training, nigga. You on you you, you we can see you. You on live. We can see you, bro. We going on Friday. What's that Cat Williams part? Nigga, did you know I can see you? <laughs> oh, that's not that's that's oh. Mm. oh man. Okay, so before we get on to our um criminal of the week. Oh, which is Diddy, by the way. Just, oh. um, <laughs> just a week. I'm gonna, we're gonna I'm gonna segue into it. Okay. So Costco has put out a public statement saying, man. "This man has not bought crates of baby oil from Costco." <laughs> they're, they're like, "Hey man, the PR that. director was like, we have no, we have, we are nowhere.' They don't even carry. They like, we don't even. They're carry carriers." Baby oil. We don't even do this. Any, we don't even do this. Like, don't even don't look at us. Go to Sam's Club. That got the baby oil. <laughs> the Walton family has been to a Diddy party. You heard wow. it here first. Oh Lord, he was right to go to the store because uh, people looking at you sideways when you buy that much baby oil at a Costco, at a CVS, or a Walgreens. Imagine walking out with a flatbed stack of baby oil. Damn. <laughs> To your Prius. <laughs> Dang. Like, mm, 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 mm. nothing to see here. Just walking out with a whole bunch of baby oil. Do, 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 do. Oh, other thing about Costco. Costco sells approximately 100 million hot dogs per year at their food court. Over four times the number sold at all MLB stadiums combined. Tell me again why Costco has it going in on a stadium. Right, like Costco Field. You would, you would think that they would. Yeah, they they got you, they you would think. money. You would think. Right. Where did where did Costco start? Someone someone looked that up. Oh, I, I got I got you. What city? You. When did Costco start? 
Let's see. 83. Um, 1935 is the Columbus Specialty Company. So, um, Ohio. So let's, Costco traces history back to 17, uh, to 1976. Mm-hmm. Um, a pi- when Soul Price, a pioneer in the warehouse club retailing, opened the first Price Club in San Diego. Oh, San Diego. So, so I mean, I so mean, the Padres could have Costco Field. I, mean, well. I mean, think about it though. They need some your Costco money. card. Your Costco card, depending on which one you get, could be very valuable at that field. You could. You know, they're gonna let you come in with your yeah, Costco card. That's business. You're like, right where's there, your man. ticket at? I'd be like, mm, I got right. a Costco card, bitch. <laughs> Keep on walking. Costco no, no. You field. need a ticket. I'm all for it. Mm-hmm. If anything, you getting a discounted ticket. Shit. Shoot, ten dollars, ten percent. You know, <laughs> you know these people. Ten percent off. I'd be like, that's eighty cents. Right. <laughs> the Pistons do that hey, all the time. Taxes. They'd be like, they'd be like ten dollars off. New basketballs. I'm like the basketball is fifty dollars, <laughs> right? Now you just at forty nine and twenty. Now it's forty nine dollars. Fuck you, fuck. Yeah, this, fuck the Pistons, you, man. You fuck nigga. <laughs> you be like Mar- Marcel. Are you, are you hurt, Marcel? You good? It, it, it's the parlay. He's hurting. It's the parlays. <laughs> my parlay's about to hurt in a second. <laughs> you know what's real bad. You know what's I got two more bad. hours until hey, the fate hey, of my parlays happen. Hey, hey, you know what's real bad when a black man says "fuck nigga." All right, man, man n- nigga, rents do. Oh, oh, so I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm about to. Ooh. I'm not playing. I'm crying right now. <laughs> <laughs> laugh through the pain. Laugh through the pain. Oh my god! I gotta laugh through the pain because it's some bullshit. Are the Jets winning by three? By three points, and it's, it's three points. It's three to zero. I hate. I hate. This. I hate. This. Are you talking about what is Denver? going on? Are you talking about the Denver Jets game? I got Houston winning. I got Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh better wake the fuck up. I don't even play. I don't even. I don't even bet on wins and losses no more because this shit been hey, so hey, fucking hey, hey, shaky hey, Chris, this hey, year, bro. Chris, I got good news. <laughs> hey, the Steelers scored. Okay, we scored. Okay, no, let's go to field goal. Let's go to field goal. <laughs> I see. I see that. I'm looking at the score right now, Chris. Stop. All right. No, no, I thought I they scored one. a field goal to make it 10 to 17, but they just scored a field goal to make it 3 to 17. No, no, no. no. The res on offense is anemic. But anyways, hey, shout out to Chris Boswell because I got him on fantasy. So thank you for the points. In other news. We're going to talk about Diddy real quick. Oh, man. Diddy about to snitch on everybody. 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 Jay-Z. What? Ray J. What? Oh, you know Jay. You know Ray J done put a little cash app in for that baby. Donald Donald Trump. Yep. I see it. You ain't seen Kamala at them parties. What? Uh Uh-uh. But you dare see Trump on them parties. The Epstein and the Diddy parties. Nope. Never. That is the last time you will ever mention baby oil and Trump in the same sentence. Mm-hmm. I never I never mentioned baby oil and Trump in the same sentence. I, I, that is horrifying. <laughs> okay, okay, they scored a touchdown. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. I might have to go. I might have oh, to go. Oh, 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 oh. Um Cincinnati. Oh, okay. My parlay saved. Hooray! For like a couple of hours. For uh, two more hours, baby. <laughs> Pittsburgh needs to wake the fuck up. Th- th- this is what they do every year. This Kyron they do Williams needs to score a touchdown. Like, this is... this is. How this he just scored three? It is... I, uh, uh, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, three better than scoring nothing. Deontay Johnson needs to score a touchdown. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Marcel, you stressing over there? Are you, you good? Alvin Kamara needs to score a touchdown. I'm frustrated because this whole league is ass. This whole NFL is ass backwards. Amen. For reals, Minnesota is undefeated, y'all. I can't believe it. With Sam Darnold, I told you, man, this year I, been kind of fucking shaky. You don't know who the fuck winning what. You can't, like, get, a, you can't get a beat on nothing. 
I need I need Saquon to give me more yards. I need Kam- I need Alvin Kamara to give me like ten more yards, and I need Brees Hall to give me a touchdown. I and one of my probably give me a touchdown as well. That's all. That's all I need. That, that's okay, all I Justin need. Justin Jefferson to score. I got Jamar to score. I need Garrett Wilson for the Jets to score. But they can't even put up a touchdown because Aaron Rodgers doesn't want to throw the damn ball no more. That's because he can't throw the ball. Nigga ain't got no line. I'm it watching it now. Thursday. I don't want to be here. It anymore. looked good last Thursday. I don't want to be here no. But then it was. Yeah, but that was. I mean, it was against the Patriots, so. I was about to say this yeah, the defense is, is looking pretty good. Well, they in the red right zone. Time, so. Brees Hall, score me a touchdown, damn it! I need Brees Hall. Give me Brees Hall, baby. You know, I know Brees Hall hasn't scored a touchdown in three games. Stop it. He just got sacked. Don't worry about it. No, 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 no. God damn it. Mm. I hate we life. should definitely do a crisscross corner on Sunday afternoon. Who's more out there? Oh, okay, okay, you know what? I'm finna go to jail. <laughs> he just got fucked. I said that to one of my kids on, on, on Friday, Chuck. What? <laughs> one of the kids was so annoying at practice. I was like, the game on the game is on Wednesday next week. And I was like, all right, have fun, have a good weekend. The kid was like, Hey, what what what, what day's the game next week, coach? I be like, I will go to jail today. Mm-hmm. I will go to jail. I'm going to go to jail. Hey, you got you another bin? Worse. He does it on purpose. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. He definitely he run he an asshole. He's ass. an asshole. Oh, oh I would have ignored his ass then. I would be like, big miss it if you want to, motherfucker. That's what I would have <laughs> For real. That's the kind of kid that back in the day. Oh, yeah, like, not. I don't even know why. Why do I even care anymore? Damn, Nico Collins got 21 points. I, I, I don't even know? bet for Cam oh, Nickers to oh. score. See, that's Let's go, you what know what? It's, my parlay's dead. And speaking of dead, we're going to move on to my top 10 list of the week, which is the top 10 dead rides at Cedar Point because Halloween weekends is here. You can go to Hall- – actually, top through two is down still. So if you want to go to Cedar Point, you can still get on Millennium Forest, Magnum, the good rides. But if you're expecting for the 420-foot ride to the sky, you're not going to be able to get on. So here are my top 10 dead rides at Cedar Point. These are rides that are no more at Cedar Point. Number 10, we have the Cadillac slash antique cars. Mm. You can just get on, drive around with your little, with your with your partner. These are date rides, Chuck. No, they're not there no more. Nope. Oh, wow. oh they've been gone. I think two years now. They scored they a touchdown. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. That was the ride you used to take your date on. Like, yeah. That was like you a drive. staple ride. Like, mm. one of the rides you just want to cool, chill for a minute and just be like, yeah. Just sit yeah. there. Like, <laughs> I ain't really controlling the car, but I'm, I'm act like I am. This bitch on a mm. track. Yeah. <laughs> You just sit there like, yeah, I'm on this little move. Uh, yeah, that's number 10. Number nine, we have Disaster Transport, which was the outdoor that turned into an indoor ride. Fuck that ride. That was fun, man. Fuck that ride. Yeah, well, like, yeah, the lights are on. But when you get on the ride, there was no lights. It was just dark. It's like, wait, where are we going? Hmm. <sighs> That was the worst ride ever. You, that's another ride you take you take your date on, because it was only it only went like forty miles an hour. You going for the teacups? You got that? Me and Marcel going for the teacups. Uh, number eight, we have the Wildcat. Don't the teacups. Mm. Stop it, Chuck. Nigga, you the last person. We all can fit on the teacups. What you be? The last person who said that to me. No, Marcel, I've seen you get try to get into the teacup now. <laughs> I think leaned over like we <laughs> You're the one who <laughs> the chip from uh when they press start, it was like beep weight overload. <laughs> I am not that big, all right. <laughs> I'm the thinnest one here. They were like arms up. <laughs> I try to push the thing down so you can fit. Oh man. <laughs> <sighs> That happened to me on uh, Steel Vengeance. I was like, get the strong man to do it. Don't have this little puny white girl to do it. Give me give me Helga. Damn, Helga Patowski? 
Helga can Helga can mm, snap that staple me in. It's only two minutes. We good. <laughs> Green Bay just scored. Oh, that's 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 perfect. That's amazing. That's nice. Who that scored? Is. Who scored? And now it's instead of twenty eight to zero. Wait, wait, no. Twenty eight to seven. Yeah. Wait, who? Who scored? Twenty eight to seven. January Jane score Reed. my my million dollar parlay is saved. <laughs> you might wait, who, wait, who 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 was it? Jaden Reed. God. Uh, damn. No, all I need is Garrett Wilson and Brees Hall to score. I need Brees Hall to score. I need I, I, I need I need Kamara to give me like ten more yards, and I need the Eagles offensive line to create. So more separation for Saquon. That just me at least fifty that, more years. That's all I need. Jason man. Kelsey retiring. I oh, told you, boy. and not just him, but it's the secondary. That secondary is suspect, and and the and the sound for, and the sound for showing last year, and people said, "Oh no, man, they're going to do a late season slump." No, nah, man, they're it getting cooked. Wait, this is the same score as last game as their playoff game. That's the true, point. True. Um, let me see. We had I had said a number eight is the Wildcat. Yeah. Um, the number side. The Wildcat was fun. That thing you put the heaviest person in, so make it go faster. <laughs> Chuck. Damn. Damn. Take uh -oh. that back. Retract. <coughs> All right, my, my, uh -oh. Loki, they can bring that back, and we will go. Well, I'll get on it. Me and my son gonna sit in the front, so we can go faster. I will not sit. I will do no such thing. Or, or, you, or you can sit in the back and feel all the pain. Like, I will sit in the middle. There's only two. There's only two down. rows. There's only the little car with two do, rows. I will do whatever I have to. I will even that bitch out. <laughs> all right, myself. I will even <laughs> even that bitch out. All right, number <laughs> number seven. We have the demon drop. I miss that right. What is that? Is that just like a kitty version of the power tower? No, no. It was it was before the power tower even got to see the point. All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Used to be, they just put you in, they used to take you up and then drop your ass. Drop you. Hey, yo, that's fucked up. That's, that's part of that's the whole ride that experience. That was the ride. Oh, oh, I'm seeing it right now. It's not a straight, it's not a straight, it's not a straight drop. It's just, it goes like and it takes you under. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Not bad. I don't have to worry about shit like going straight. It's the straight down that's a problem for me. And it's, good. it's the su and it's the sudden start. It's supposed to scare you. Man, you just talking. Well, I ain't gonna be. Yeah. <laughs> what you eating for dinner tomorrow? Hey, I'm gonna go over to McDonald's. Oh no! <laughs> Interrupted mid sentence by gravity. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that hey. number seven was the demon drop. Number six is Snake River Falls. Oh, you mean that river ride right across? Let's which see. is going to be, which is close, which is now closed. It was, it was. They said it was going to close this year to make way for the new ride, um, which is going to be the world's <laughs> tallest, longest, and fastest tilt coaster, which is coming in twenty twenty six. I didn't trust the water for that ride at all. Man, that water looked dirty as hell. hell yeah. That was the that was the one we had the bridge right there. You can walk across it, and then it just splashed oh, you. Great, now I like great. Now I got worms. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. See the point. I gotta look up what a tilt coaster is. It's the one when it takes you up, Marcel, like this, and then it tilts you, and it connects to the other track, and then it goes down, mm -hmm. like the one that we saw in Japan. <sighs> oh, now they're starting to incorporate. Japan ideas to America. Hey. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Exactly. Oh, oh no. no. We uh, ooh. I am scared. Mm-hmm. Well, speaking of scared, number five, we have the witch's wheel. Oh man. They they got rid of that and they made way mm. for the that new barbecue place, which is very nasty, by the way. Yeah. Every okay. I don't think it's a far fetched thing to say that at almost every re every restaurant at Cedar Point was just got so goddamn nasty. It's like they need they oh. need lorries. They need some lorries. They need, they need that seasoning, man. That pizza remember that pizza place around that around oh. Cedar Point? That thing gave me food poisoning like crazy. Trash. All you gotta do is get the fries. Just get the fries and, and, and you're good. And they express it and then boom we out. That thing wasn't cooked. They put Chick-fil-A back in. 
That's that's a plus. <laughs> so they have Chick Fil A. I, mean, I think they had they used to have Pink's hot dogs. True. They th- I think they still Johnny <laughs> Rock there. I forgot Johnny Rockets was even a thing. I remember it Me was too. like um, I I remember it was around a uh, hockey town or something like that. Oh yeah, there was one in downtown Detroit. They got rid of that shit. Oh. But uh, folks, if you're planning on going or visiting Cedar Point, don't get the food there. Just just stay at a little hotel. I, hell, there's a McDonald's right across the entrance. There is. <laughs> there is. And that McDonald's ain't even that good. <laughs> it's better than the food they got over there. It's, it's it, 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 it ain't much. It ain't, it ain't much. McDonald's before you go to the it, park. It, because it, when you it, get in the park, it's going to be too expensive. Way it's too lesser expensive. of two evils, basically. <laughs> Literally. Uh, number four, we have the Mantis. Stand-up coaster. I don't think which you gave your crotch so I much pain. I don't think you so understand much. how bad that... I don't think y'all understand how bad that ride went out. <laughs> hey, man. Like, I remember there was a story on the news where people were literally stuck on the Mantis mid-loop. It was a very ugly scene. Hey, man. Science has a way of surprising people. <laughs> but it's okay. Mantis is now Rougarou now, so. Right. Same track, just different color, different color. Yeah, that's spray it's paint a little ball, bit. Rougarou. Rougarou. Like a, that's what it's called. like a noodle dish. It's the same track, so. Shouldn't be anything new. Uh, speaking of same track, sort of. Number three, we have the Mean Streak. Yeah. Mean Streak used to the tear metal. my back up. Wasn't that, wasn't all that, the way wasn't up. that one of the uh, wooden ones? It yes, the big one in the back. The big wooden one in the back. Man, you, it was you, that you, one and the Gemini, I believe. Yeah, no, no, I mean, I mean, Gemini. I mean, like, like for me, Street, you you gonna need like some icy hot before you get on the ride, after you get on the ride, while you're on the Man. ride. Man, you just come in, you just see this fresh whiff you, of icy you, hot coming back into the station. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man. Also, that's what I had before. Gotta do, gotta do, man. That's your like, oof. Actually, there's there's four wooden rides at your Point: Mean Streak, Gemini, Blue Streak, and the Creek Mine Ride. Yeah. I ain't going on yeah. a lot of rides, but now I know why. Man, just thinking about it makes my back hurt. Hold on. <laughs> it blew your back <laughs> out. Damn. No, 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 no. You get you gotta stretch the back out. You gotta do we, that's it's also the longest ride at Cedar Point. It's like almost two minutes. Mean yeah. Street blew your back out, Chris. No, it didn't. Oh. It, no. Oh. No. Oh. 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 I, 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 oh. That's like that's like four strikes already, man. No, it did not. No, it, it did not. First, it's uh, look at that nice sack, and now it's it blew your back out, huh? All right, my son, that's strike two. Man, that, that's what it sound like, man. Nah, nah, nah it I, hurts. I, that's why you got you got to lean forward. On oh, wait, 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 wait. All right, Sa- I don't know how the hell they did it. Saquon, all of a sudden, he got like fifty something yards. So, all right, we good, we good, we good. That's like a so, monster No, no, that's good for me. For the parlay, dog. I need it. I need a touchdown. <laughs> Am I included on that parlay? I didn't buy a house, man. I got a mortgage to pay. I off. need a touchdown from Goddard, and I'm straight. <laughs> you cannot say that, Chris. I got a mortgage to pay off. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, okay. Any donations can be made by PayPal, Chris Cross Studios, man. or <laughs> That way, I was watching that last night. That line hits so much differently now. It really do. I'm yeah, like, it's oh, different when you actually have a house now. To I'm, pay like, for. Oh, I'm like, oh, I'm like, donations. I'm like, I know what it means now. It means All right, number number two, we have the the Wicked Twister. Oh, fuck that ride, man! The Twister was the ride. Hey, it was fun though. That thing was the ride. I was I used to go on that thing six times in a row. <clears throat> What's up with this yellow suit, Nate Burleson? That he looking like a bottle of mustard. Dijon, Man. no Dijon. Frenches, yep. <laughs> Frenches, straight yellow. 
<sighs> and number one, dead right at Cedar Point. We all know what it is. It's the top throw dragster. Oh, fuck that, right? Oh, yeah. Top throw dragster. Rest in peace. I never and got your predecessor and your and your successor ain't doing too well either. So <laughs> I never got on that. You never did. Every time what? I went, the line was too fucking long. I'm not a line person. Me neither. I, I, I see. I'm not a coaster person. Every time I, I saw somebody that's just ride, right. yeah, that's my problem. Like, and it'd be hot. Not. I'm in this mm-hmm. group with a bunch of motherfuckers, and some of them stink. Some of them say some of them the sun on me. On you. And some then I'm wait, I'm waiting in this line for an hour just to be on the ride for two minutes. Like high, and then oh yeah, only to drop down. It's like that's it. Like this is it, nigga. This, this is, it. is it. Wait an hour long here. The guy behind me smell. One of them threw up near the camera. This is what I got. This is why I looked forward to. Man, you don't ruin my birthday. Damn. You went on your birthday myself. <laughs> oh, man, so you don't have you, you done ruined my birthday. <laughs> you never went on your birthday myself. Uh, when was God this? Where was me, I? And the guy behind me, take a bath, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Right, like, good God! I'm sorry, this is a made-up scenario. So, oh, oh, you, you just mad about some shit you just made up in your head? That's crazy! That's crazy! I'm a, I'm a, I'm a storyteller. All right, he looks so frustrated. You know, the way he, the way he was acting, you would have thought this shit happened in real life, like. That's what happened to someone in real life, though. That's what's said. But not you. Shit. By the way, this ain't really happening. Not happened. you, though. Right. Not me, though. Oh, for sure, man. Man, it sounds <laughs> like I got someone's hopes up. <laughs> you said you ruined my birthday, bitch. Wait, this stuff didn't really happen, y'all. This stuff didn't really oh, happen. <clears throat> but it got y'all invested now, didn't it? It did. I was like, wait, this happened on your birthday? Where was I? Right, like... How- you wanted it. Where was I on your birthday, Marcel? <laughs> it was really my birthday. Why would I go to a theme park? Because you want to have fun? Yeah. Right. On your birthday? That makes sense. You, you have a summer birthday. That's why probably, probably like the best I birthday. I have a summer. bad heart. Yeah, you're right. Why would I go to a place that would kill me instantly? Hey, man. Not, not that you know. Now you can't go. And that rhymes. I'm so, <laughs> and plus, I ain't trying to get buried in Ohio. So that, that that's not. Mm-hmm. not on we we can move your body to Michigan myself. It's right, not, like not hard market. Hell no, shit. Mm-mm-mm. But anywho, but anywho, that's been another edition of the Crisscross Corner Podcast. Thank you, great debaters, for being here this week. We had Christopher Bird, Marcel Smith, who always lies about his stories, and Chuck. I don't lie. I'm just just a good storyteller. See y'all next week. You can't fault me on that. AKA a fucking liar.